everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing an automatic writing from the karmic to the DF. Uh, we'll see what's going on today. And also, don't forget that we do have a competition going on. Look in the description below. Um, someone will win a free reading. So that could be um, an automatic writing written out or typed. Or it can also be a card reading from me. Okay, so I will choose one person on Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time next week. So if you want to enter this competition, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. And if you are already a subscriber, just comment under any video this week and next week to let me know that you want to take part in this competition. All right, so um, let us get into this reading right here. Karmic to DF. No one has ever suffered like I have. And you do not know the extent of what I have been through. How could you ever relate to me and my suffering? I felt abandoned as a child and was adopted by big sisters around me who felt that they were protecting me. Most of the time, I was left on my own to fend for myself. Long before some predators came into my life and abused me. They had no compassion for me or felt any guilt about what they had done. I only felt hurt and pain from them. I guess this was when I realized that in life, I had to become a predator myself in order to stay safe and for people to respect me. When you're too nice and kind, it seems like people take advantage of you so easily and walk all over you. DF, I don't want to be like you. You're too weak. You haven't understood the real nature of life and what you need to do to win at getting anything you want and need. One of my decisions when I was growing up was to embrace my shadow side. Since that decision, everything that I could ever want was given to me. I do admit that I've had a few challenges as well, but I will always come out with victory. I have mastered my craft at casting spells to get where I want to be. I don't care if I have to backstab my own friends and family members to achieve my goals. The only thing that matters to me is this spiritual battle between the dark and the light and keeping the DM right here by my side. Even though the DM doesn't truly love me, I want them for myself. Some people can grow to love you with time, and this is what I'm counting on. The DM will remain under my control for as long as I want them to be, and there isn't much that you can do to stop me. I have more experience in these matters than you do, and I'll repeat some of my rituals again soon. I have my community too, who help me to do these spells very well. There's power in numbers, and this is why I have an advantage over you, DF. I know you despise me and talk about me behind my back. You wish I was out of the picture for good. It is true, I have my faults, and I know I'm not as dynamic as you are, but I'm more determined to get what I want. Emily, Jacob, Deidre, Rebecca, Duncan, Claudia, and Malcolm. All right, guys, so we have a letter from the comic to the DF. This comic here is just plain evil, it seems. It seems like they had a rough childhood as well. A lot of things going on here. Um, chose the dark over the light. Clearly states it is not even um, ashamed of that. Uh, says that they do have power in numbers, like there's more than one of them in this kind of like shadow community that they're in. I don't know what kind of community it is. We'll try to find that out as well. And just trying to keep doing all this black magic, hoodoo, whatever you want to call it, on the DM to keep them stuck. All right. So we have a few questions here we want to ask uh, about this relationship, this situation, this connection. So the first question would be, um, what kind of trauma is this comic talking about? 
Uh, why do they choose the light, the dark over the light? And um, are they going to be successful in like casting these spells? Or is the divine going to come in and just cut them in their tracks, stop them? And um, what's happening in this connection? We'll get some channel messages from your person as well. So let's do that with the cards right here. I'm just going to put this away. And there will be an extended to this video below. So look forward to that. All right. So the first question we have here is, what is the karmic? What are some of like the traumas that the karmic went through? Okay, why do they why did they choose the dark over the light? And for this one, we're going to use the Family Feud deck from Tipsy Tiff. All right, Tipsy Tiff is one of my featured channels. If you go into featured channels, you'll see her channel there. She made this deck; it's really great. All right, so let's see what happened to the comic. Why did they turn out that way? All right, the comic surrendered to the spirit. Okay. They're full of bitterness. Okay, all right. So we got some information here. They surrendered to the spirit, but which spirit? The wrong spirit. It seems like they were misled. Like someone told them that this was um, the way that they needed to go. Look at that snake in there. Okay. So they said, go on this path. This one is the way. You will have everything that you want. You will be able, you'll be rewarded. This will help you in your life, all of that. And so the karmic surrendered to this dark right here. Okay, usually this would be like uh, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, all of that. But because the cards right here are, are in reverse, it just seems like this is like more of a dark spirit here. This is what I'm getting from it. Stop blaming yourself. Okay, so the karmic, even though they're speaking, you know, they're mouthing out all sorts of different stuff. They do blame themselves for a lot that's going on and they feel very, very bitter about it. They, they, they understand, like, they're just mouthing off right here. But they do know that they have chosen the wrong side and they're trying to get to the other side. But it seems like the dark just keeps pulling them back. So, like, they're suffering inside and they don't want to admit it. So I feel this is eating them from the inside out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of, like, get sick and stuff like that because that's what happens when things are, like, eating you from the inside out. They are basically transmitting generational, generational chains because... Um, I feel that this gift has been passed down from generation to generation. And when I say gift, it's also a curse. So for the karmic here, this is a curse. And um, it seems like this curse has been passed down. And this is why they followed in the same footsteps as different members of their family. I feel that this is in the family as well. Some of the family members are doing spell work as well with contracts with the dark. This karmic is a star in reverse. So someone who is... Everything but kind, but generous, but uh, charismatic, you know. Every single thing that you could possibly hate in one person, this comic is like showing it up. Okay, so they don't have a lot of real friends. They just have like a, a bunch of fake friends. And this community that they're talking about, they're all like backstabbers in that community anyway. So they just feel like home right there. Okay, because the comic is a manipulator, a backstabber, and someone who is very mean in this connection. Okay, so we're going to move on and see if the comic will be successful at casting these spells, or is the divine going to come in and block this? True Heart Tarot deck, let's check that out. So I'm channeling most of these messages here, even though I look at the cards as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So, you know, the comic is not going to be successful here. We see that there's two of cups is in reverse. Um, you know, it's just all about arguments, more breakup, more separation. It's just going to push the, the DM away even further. All right, we have this debt card in reverse. You know, things are going to get really bad before they could get um, good, okay? Um, there seems to be a lot of, like, dragging of feet, uh, delays, uh, all that kind of stuff. The comic is going to try to do that spell work and wonder why, oh, my God, why is it not working this time? Oh, um, it didn't seem to, to have any effect 
I wonder why, because it seems like um, someone is intervening here for the light. And I feel this is you, DDF. You're sending light to this connection. And this is why this black magic is not working uh, so well. Okay, so I feel that this DM right here is gaining strength and also um, coming towards a more uh, emotional, emotionally stable state. And this is why this black magic is not going to work like it used to be for. Okay, so there could be like a few obstacles still, but not so much as before. And um, their black magic is weakening because you are sending that light to the DM right here. So that is not going to work out. Okay, so let us see if we get some messages from your person um, here. For anyone watching this video and this connection. Divine counterparts in separation. So I feel you guys have little or no communication or in separation right here in this connection. From Made for Love. So we have some cards here. Get some messages from your person. I'm going to channel these here for you. All right. So we have, I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. We have ready to take a chance. Okay. We have death to the old. Okay. So this is in reverse. We have spiritual awakening in reverse. And we have wait on me. All right. DF, I really want to connect with you. I want you to see that I am coming forward a little bit here. I am not at your level just yet, but I am working on it. I have a lot of issues with coming out of my comfort zone, but I am trying new things and learning much more than before. I am willing to take a little bit of risk for you, not the big one, just yet, but I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, I'm seeing the light at the end of this tunnel. I want to distance myself totally from this karmic situation, this third party situation, but I just need to take care of some things first. There are a few things that I need to cut off with this karmic, most of all financial and also administrative. My spiritual awakening has started because I can feel it in my dreams. I can feel it in my energy. I can feel it in my chakras. But I'm not to your level just yet. Please be patient with me. Please be compassionate, kind, because I have been beating myself up over here and I can't take any more pressure or any more judgment from you. It just hurts me so much when you use harsh words against me. I love you and I'm coming forward in my own way. It is true that it is taking a lot of time, but I am really trying so hard right here to come to you. Wait on me, please. Okay, so we have that message from your person right there. And I'm going to pull some um, oracle cards on this just to get... Uh, some messages from the divine and I'm a, I will use the divine love messages. So these are messages from the masters, ascended masters, from the Bible, from all different sources. Um, and you will see that uh, it's the guides just trying to give you some messages here. Okay, this is from D. All right, let's get some oracle messages for anyone watching this video as well. What do you need to focus on this week? Inspiration. Wear your ego like a loose-fitting garment. And this one is from the Buddha. So they're saying that sometimes you have an ego problem and it gets in the way of this relationship and in other aspects of your life. So they're saying... Be ready. And this is a lesson that you need to learn here. And this is probably a lesson that this relationship is teaching you. Be ready to put that ego aside. Just like a garment or like a scarf, just take it off and say, okay, I'm ready to put it aside for you. Okay. This love connection, this relationship is bigger than ego. All right. We're not going to do it every time, but we're going to do it sometimes. 
twin love. So this is a twin flame connection right here. Just like the Niagara Falls and its breathtaking and powerful view, the eternal love, deep in emotions, it brings out hidden beauty, strength, courage, and the power of love and light. So this is why you're going through this journey right here, to show the power and light of deep love and um, the twin flame connection. So you got almost the same card because it's another twin flame connection card. It says, just like the perfect lemonade is ever made, the DF is the perfect amount of sugar and the DM is the perfect amount of lemon juice. So when they come together, they bring knowledge and wisdom and they are perfect.